Hey everyone, T2RX6 here, back for another review. It's kind of a Transformers review. Um, many of you guys who are out there who got, are either part of the Transformers Collectors Club or, uh, you know, know someone who is and you were able to buy it, bought this Punch Counter Punch and was really disappointed with the size of his head. Now, you can see that mine has no head. He's not even properly transformed right now. Um, just for reference, oh, it's backwards, Oop, it's real small, this is the regular head, pretty tiny, nice detail, it has the transforming top piece there, so you can, uh, take it and shift it to reveal the other side, shift it down, back to, uh, punch, counter punch, this is counter punch, I'm pretty sure, and this is punch. For whatever reason, when I was little, I always thought this was punch and this was counter punch, but I'm pretty sure it's counter punch, punch. But yeah, so here he is. And uh, I found this kit online when I was uh, browsing TFW 2005. And uh, I believe it's by the Cashabelli guy on TFW. Um, it's Callaway75, I believe, on shapeways.com. And basically what Shapeways is, if you're not familiar with it, it's a company that makes 3D printouts of uh, people's designs. They're on a sprue there. If you look carefully, you can see it inside. And you can see that this is connected on it still. And basically, they create it, create the piece, and you can buy it from them. And I don't know if... Uh, Cashbelly slash Callaway 75 gets a cut of it or anything like that, but I know that you can buy it online. And on there, I saw a punch counter punch kit as well as this defensor. Now, this defensor, you're not going to be able to see it in the video here, but it's pretty rough um, to the touch. It's very, very rough. Um, so it needs some work. Now, the one for the punch counter punch. Um, I don't think the rough, uh, style was available there. There's a couple different styles. You want the smooth, the detail, either white or black, and it's a lot more smooth, but it's not without imperfections. Um, but what you get in this kit is it's $12. Your minimum order from Shapeways has to be 25 which is why I bought the Defensor Head for a different project down the road. Um... Yeah, but you have to pay 25 And this kit, this particular kit, is $12. Um, there is a bit of a cheaper option. I think it's like uh, 9 or 10 bucks, and you get just a head and helmet. Um, but the kit gives you a replacement punch, counter punch head, and fists. And the fists are really cool, but I couldn't get them to work out on this toy. Um, I'm going to keep going. Uh, it might be just that my paint is rubbing off a little bit here, and it needs some more paint. You can see it's coming off. But what the fist has, which is pretty cool, is you can see that, you know, you got the thumb here like this. And it's actually on a swivel when you put it together, such that you can swivel it down. And now the thumb's at the bottom. So when he's in his other mode, uh, get the light to show it, when he's in his other mode is fist is uh, the thumb is in the right position so you can just swivel the thumb on around back and forth depending on if he's punch or counter punch really cool it's a three-piece assembly and I can't get the like post part to stay in properly so I'm gonna keep working with it because um, it's really cool but for now I'm just using the regular uh, fist now, the big thing that I'm sure everyone really would get this kit for, because you can survive with the fists as they are, even if they are a little bit annoying, is the head. And that is why I've gone ahead and left him partially transformed, because it's kind of like the big reveal. So let's go ahead and shift it to reveal a much bigger counterpunch head. I think counterpunch. Let me just put the stock one right next to it so you can see the size difference I mean it is a lot bigger and it looks nice now the faces on the counterpunch side are the same face you can see that 
he's got the chin. Um, for whatever reason, the TFCC one, TFCCC one, uh, they filled in the chin with blue. When I looked online, it was silver, so I painted mine silver and did the red. Um, what's cool about this head is just like the original one, we have, let me do this in a way that maybe you can see it, maybe not. You can rotate the visor down so it covers the eyes, revealing Punch's head. And that looks pretty good. I mean, it is a nice head. Now, the head is different than the Collector's Club head uh, for the Punch side. Because the Punch side goes with the uh, face on it, whereas the kit goes with the headmaster's uh, visor, or I'm sorry, not visor, faceplate version of it. I like the faceplate better, some of you may like the face, but either way, this is still improvement on the regular head. I mean, quite clearly, it is much larger, much more in scale. Let's see, if we put the original one right in front of it, you can just see just how much smaller that head is. So it makes a huge difference, comparatively. So the biggest advantages here with the kit are going to be that when we place him next to his mold-sharing brothers, who obviously have a much more properly shaped head that fits the body, he really doesn't look as awkward as he used to. Um, only way I can really demonstrate that here, but the only way I can kind of make this work, and probably the benefit of having the legs transformed incorrectly is he's easier to stand, but it would be to kind of hold that head on myself roughly where it would be. Oh, it just fell in. Yeah, so something like that, which you can see is much smaller than the official Hasbro, well, he's, I guess, official Hasbro, but it's much smaller than the other toys. So, this head really makes him look better when he's standing next to someone like Sideswipe and Sunstreaker, who he shares a mold with. Or, if we go for more customized stuff and we decide we're going to take him over to his punch version here. We transform his legs here, and now we got him back to punch, whoops, and we knocked the camera off, sorry about that. <laughs> so we get him back to punch here, and we'll say we'll put him next to device label Soundwave, who's kind of deluxe in size, and you can see that, you know, the head's more appropriately in scale with other deluxe style toys. Uh, let me see, do I have any... Let's make it a sound wave a here. And we will pull the War for Cybertron sound wave here, who doesn't want to cooperate with me right now. But again, you see that the head is more properly in scale with the various versions of sound wave I've got shown here. So it puts it more on a proper deluxe scale. And like I said, it, it's not a very hard kit to do yourself. Everything snaps together. It comes in a couple pieces. You need a file, um, pretty much a file and some time to basically do it, to turn it from something that comes in one piece like this to all the various pieces. Now, just to show you how easy this is to do, um, the things you're going to need, and I didn't include the file um, or sandpaper. Uh, if you want to do it better than what I've got, you're going to want sandpaper because there still is some roughness even on the detailed. Um, when it's in white, it's really hard to see, but now that it's actually got color, it's harder to, or it's more noticeable. Sorry about that. I had to cut for a second there because my dog was starting to growl at who knows what, to be honest. Anyway. Like I was saying, you need a couple things. You need the file, you need uh, possibly sandpaper because uh, 
you can't really see it too well, but it is still rough. And when it's white, it doesn't really look or feel rough. So you may want to sand it down. It doesn't really detract to leave it a bit rough. Um, you need some kind of primer. And I like using this uh, Krylon barbecue and stove paint. Uh, it's black. It's supposed to, some people say, resist chipping a little bit. I don't see it. It does dry pretty quick and it makes a nice black. And that's actually the black that you see on uh, Punch's head right now. So that's the black I go with. I'll leave it back here so you can see. The next thing you're going to need is a paintbrush. And I mean a very fine paintbrush to be good with it. These cost like three, maybe four dollars at your local art store. Um, for this particular guy, uh, just because I had it, I used the Model Master Acrylic Guards Red for Punch's eyes. And conversely, if we flip that and go back, and I'll just leave his legs backwards just because it's easier. For the counter, uh, for the counter punch eyes, I used red. For the punch eyes, I used, like I told you, Ice Blue by Games Workshop. And you can see if I can hold it. Is it Games Workshop? Yeah, Games Workshop, their Citadel paint. And it is actually called Ice Blue. So, and that I did for the Autobot eyes. Uh, the silver. This is a great silver color in my opinion. It's the Games Workshop Mithril Silver. And you'll use that for the face plate. As well as the chin for punch. Counter punch. Counter punch. Uh, the next thing... I used to try to match the color as best I could on the blue face uh, is Citadel Foundation Fenris Gray and it should be right there with the Games Workshop paints and it's much more blue than it is gray so you need that and the final thing you'll need obviously because you got two heads and um, I may have missed a little detail here, and that's up to you. I think it looks fine how it is, but if we go back to our punch head, we've obviously got some yellow, so I found the best match I could find is, uh, again, the Model Master Chrome Yellow for color, and don't be fooled when it's not mixed. It really does not look anything like this color, um, but yeah. That got me the closest paint apps that I could find, which really is not that far off. There's a little bit of a difference, but not much um, in all the cases to the paint here. And it looks good. It looks way better than he was looking before. So hopefully uh, you guys found that helpful and maybe decide to fix your own punch counter punch. Uh, I recommend it. Uh, this was only like $3, $4 at any store like Walmart or Target. Um, each of these paints are whew, maybe like 3 bucks a piece. So you're going to have to put a little bit of money into it. And like I said, the Shapeways order requires a minimum of $1.25. $25, why I would say $1.25 beats me. But... You can pick up other things for other projects like a defense door head. Um, I know Cachabelli slash Callaway 75 has some various target masters and stuff that you can purchase on there. So there's things on there you're going to be able to find to make $25 and probably get some use out of the paints you had to buy here. So anyway, this is T2RX6. I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you do this modification on your own or figure out how to do the fists better than I have, let me know. Post a video response. Uh, send me a message, whatever. Uh, I'd like to see how you guys did and see if your paint maybe even matched better than mine because while it is close, it is just a tiny bit off, I would say. Almost unnoticeable, but just a little. So take care, guys. Till next time, T2RX6. See you later.